Today I'm gonna teach you how you can create this crazy flash camera shake effect inside of After Effects. Let's go. Just so you know, this video is part of a three-part camera shake series on our channel. So if you wanna check out the rest of the videos, they're all linked below. Anyways, let's dive right in. First things first, go to layer, hit new, and create a new adjustment layer. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your cut right here and wherever that cut is, go 12 frames after that cut and hit command shift D to split that layer, delete the right side, and then go 12 frames before it. I'm, I'm just like kind of roughly guessing and hit command shift D again and delete the left part. Now go to your effects and presets and we're gonna search for the CC reptile effect. And now apply that reptile effect to your layer and then what you're going to do is you're going to change all of these expand right to 3000 just set all of them to 3000 once all these values are set to 3000 go back to your effects and presets and now we're going to search for an effect that we're going to apply four times exactly four times and that is the mirror effect now while we're applying that four times for those of you who don't know who i am my name is devin win i've been a video for about seven years i've shot and edited countless videos for these clients and now i teach and give away all the sauce that i've learned completely for free here on this channel and for those of you who really want to level up your edits and edit 10 times faster Faster, I actually give away the exact presets and templates that I use for my videos all linked below in the description at 11%.net So you can check it out if you want to edit a lot faster with that said Let's get back to the tutorial now that we have four mirror effects going on right here Watch and pay attention very closely We're gonna set all these values to very specific numbers The first one is gonna be 90 the second one is gonna be 270 This third one is gonna be negative 180 and the last one We're gonna leave completely at zero then we're gonna set the reflection centers for the first mirror effect on the y coordinate We're gonna type 2180 for the the second mirror for the y coordinate we're going to type negative 12 for the third mirror effect we're going to type negative 6 in the x coordinate and then the last one you should be able to leave just like that at 1080 and voila now our clip looks exactly the same now you might be asking like why did we just do all that well i'm going to show you why go to your effects and presets and the next effect you imply is the transform effect apply that transform to your adjustment layer and then you can see if we adjust the scale ta-da! we have this crazy looking kaleidoscope mirror effect and because we're creating camera shake we are going to be zooming in and out so it's very important that there are no edges on the sides of them and the kaleidoscope mirror effect that trick that we just did right there it's a very very simple way to basically speed up this process and if you basically want to save even more time you can go ahead and select the cc reptile on the four mirrors go to animation and then hit save animation preset i'm gonna call this 11 percent mirror edges and save that to your user presets so now this way if you ever want to create another camera shake all you have to do is search for your mirror edges effect apply that to your adjustment layer and you never have to repeat any of these steps again now that we have our transform effect applied we're going to go to the very beginnings and we're just going to set a keyframe on the scale you can go ahead and change the position if you want but today we're just doing the scale to keep things simple click your adjustment layer in your timeline and hit the u key to see all the uh, animated keyframes and then go to the very end of your clip and then hit this keyframe icon to set another scale keyframe very very important now go to the center of your clip and you can do two things you can either zoom in or zoom out i'm going to zoom out just a little bit so i'm going to set it to 80 and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit this little graph editor icon select all your keyframes and hit this little bezier icon and now let's go ahead and make these keyframes nice and smooth and buttery so i'm just kind of adjusting these anchors so that the movement is nice and smooth and then i'm going to go about three frames after the first keyframe or maybe like four frames and i'm going to actually create another keyframe just like that and then do the same thing on the opposite side so create another keyframe so now we have about five keyframes and i'm going to select these two keyframes and just bring these up a little bit actually higher than the original original initial value and the reason I'm doing this is so that we kind of have this like bounce effect so it zooms out zooms in and if you play that out ta-da we got this cool looking camera shake and if that's too slow for you then you can literally just go ahead and mess around with these anchor keyframes and you'll get faster movement so that's kind of working for me now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uncheck use composition shutter angle increase the shutter angle up to like 360 and then click off this graph editor and if you play it out we see we got this crazy camera shake going on and uh yeah it's pretty cool very basic now let's make this effect actually look cool so go to your effects and presets search for the invert effect search and apply that right there drag and drop that to your adjustment layer go one keyframe before your center keyframe and we're going to do the same thing hit the drop down on your invert right here on your timeline and hit a check mark at the blend with original one frame before the cut then go one frame after your cut and hit another keyframe at the same blend with original at zero percent then you're going to go one keyframe after that and set the value to 100 
100% on blend with the original. And do the same thing for the other side. So go one keyframe before the 0% and change it to 100%. And the reason we just did all that, so it should look something like this. You have four keyframes, one at 100, then zero, zero, 100. If you play it out, boom, we got this crazy looking invert effect. And one way to make it even stand out even more is I'm gonna add a vignette to this. So I'm gonna apply this vignette to our adjustment layer. Yeah, I applied to our adjustment layer just like that. And then I'm gonna go to the center. I'm going to increase the amount to like 330, hit a keyframe at the center, go a few keyframes before, set it to zero, and then do the same thing on the other side and also set it to zero. Boom, just like that, you got a crazy invert camera shake effect. If you wanna speed it up, you can definitely do that by adjusting all your keyframes. And yeah, there you guys go, there you have it. Hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you wanna check out any of our presets or our new auto edit plugin, which lets you use AI to automatically edit your videos for you, adding visual effects and editing the base timeline of your video, you can check that out all linked below in the description. Hope you guys found something useful from this tutorial. If you want to learn how you can create a crazy thermal camera shake transition just like this, you should check out this video linked right here.